Okay, so welcome back. We're gonna get back into this. Uh, let's make sure I can be heard again. Yep, I'm good again. Alright, sweet. Alright, so we gotta go around. I can't remember what I'm doing. <laughs> we gotta go around and, uh... I've got a. And. And, uh. Anyways, I'm trying to. I'm trying to go back up to the top, um, around, because I had to go. I can't go up that waterfall that I came from in the watery area, so. We're gonna go back down, uh, to the water area, because we got the oarsman summoned now, which means that when we go down. Uh, I should be able to. Um, go across that area that I wasn't able to before, so... I'm not sure what's behind there, I don't remember if it's a whole other area, because I know at some point it is like a whole area, but I don't know if it is right away here. Oh, I forgot this in the beginning. Let me, uh... Oh. Might as well get the, uh... I think it's a heart. Up. Oh. I can do this right. There we go. Woo! Nice. Drop. I'm pretty sure it's worse than what I've got. Yeah, it's a yeah, knife, basically. Okay. But right up here, we got the shortcut unlocked now, so it should be a little bit oh, Alright, so I can't die to Cthulhu. Charming as it sounds. Yeah, he's still pretty tough actually right now. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad, but he definitely punishes you if you uh, get in front of him with the fireballs, so. I really want that 400 to get. Ah! Hey, come on. Push diagonal. Rude. Kill ya. Boom, rain time! Alright. Then we got our big ball dude here. Good spot to heal up. Come on. There we go. Nice full health again. Oh, God, I hate this. I keep on doing that. Um, honestly, we're almost to the point where I can do two back to back soul seals. So. Pretty much at that point already, but not quite there. Alright, I'm 
animals back to the start of the the water area. Yeah, I don't think I get the breathing underwater thing this early, but I might be wrong. It'd be nice though. for like the five years and then get back down to the bottom and we should be good. The one up there. Ow. I swear, that guy's totally gonna drop the spear and I'm not gonna be able to get it. Okay, actually there's a save I think here, right? I silly that I go to check my map before just walking in here. Alright. But yeah, now I can go, I think, I'm pretty sure it's just straight down, and then, um, through this little cracked floor that I broke earlier. And this area leads to another place where I need. Yep. So that. Okay, cool. So now I can get across. Our destiny here. awaits, oh prince. Ow. Ah. Uh, everything's bad. Uh. Oh, I'm. I'm not doing great. I'm not doing great. I'm not doing great. Oh. Fuck you, bats. And me, I need to go back. <laughs> I missed that item up there because I was fucking like drowning after this. Here. That for health. Thank you. Just stay crouched. There we go, that's how I fall. I don't know what makes me to hold it up and what makes me not. But, oh well. This should be it. What happened? No! That was it! Oh my god, what happened? I'm gonna drown. I'm actually gonna drown here. Oh my god. Oh my god, can I please? Can I please do it? This is bullshit. Okay. Alright, hopefully I won't die. I'm gonna... Just stay crouched. I guess I'm... Every time I do anything, I'm being thrown off. Okay. I'm gonna pull it around still. I'm dead. Oh my god. Wow. Holy crap. I can't believe I died. <laughs> Literally just because I keep on getting knocked off and drowning. Wow. Well, this is not a really long trek back, but Jesus.
That was sad. Alright. Time to go back down, not to die horribly this time. I'm glad to take that 50 bucks. Thy destiny awaits, O oh Prince. Okay. Not great again, but you know what? Oh shit, where where am I? MP at? Might as well just wait. And so I can still steal these guys. It's another uh, 24 health. There we go. Okay, so making sure, but this should be. Yes, okay. Okay, so now we can ex freely explore the water areas. Very good. Yeah! Man, if I would've known about that, that would've made my life easier this last time. Knuckle Duster. Alright. Cool. Alright. So. Ah? Uh? Let's just keep on going. I mean, really, all we gotta do is just go left here and get these underwater areas we weren't able to explore earlier. Down there, though. that's the real question. Oh, it's all connected here, I remember that. Okay. Woo! Cool. Fire underwater. I'm not meaning Mercury. Or not Mercury, uh, whatever it is. Uh. Magnesium. Nunchuck! Nice! Cool. So. This area cleaned up. No idea. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, like, I have no idea how, how to get that bottom area. That's controlling me.
Getting that map percentage, ow! Drop over, but I wasn't fast enough. That sucks. Okay, so I still think I can't do this next area here until I get. Um, I mean, I don't remember at what point it actually happens, but there should be a, uh, a skeleton ape the guys throw barrels um, in here, and once he's in here, then I can actually do this. Oh, got a knuckle luster from a frog. All right. Hug the right wall this time. It'll be easier to do that. Okay, yeah, still don't know. Oh well. I think we've got. Well, I got a lot better map coverage there. There's actually an armor piece that we'll get here. Um, actually, not too far from now, I don't think. Um, that gives me more defense depending on how um, how much of the map I've uncovered. Kinda neat. So anyway, so yeah doing something like this and just clearing out the map even if there isn't anything down here. It does have its benefit benefits also, you know, if you're going for like a proper hundred percent then, you know, that helps too. Fish. Okay, it's just that little section up there. Keep my eyes peeled. Directly above me, but if I'm over here. Ah, I see. Huh. I just did that. Start climbing up that little jaggedy area on the left. I gotta make my way back there. So we can go through water now. I really, really want this double jump. So, 
no, we gotta just um, head up this, through this first area again. I'm surprised I'm not getting the shirt. Not that hard of a drop. Ow, ow! There we go, got it. Cloth turning, my bad. It looks like a shirt. On the uh, pixel sprite of it. Nice, I'm doing, doing decent damage now. One hit kill that guy. This room up here is really helpful once I can get up there. It's got uh, all the different, every single sub weapon in the game. So it's a very good spot, place to swap out. Right, that's what the hell is Okay. Let me get over here. Not sure if I can reach it still. Yeah, not yet. Double jump for sure. Okay, so yes, this this next thing on the left is gonna be the way up. We're gonna check it out. That's the next area we're in clear. Which I think it's the bell tower, if I remember correctly. Bell tower, clock tower. We can go through this now. Ooh, Maria. Alucard, wasn't it? We meet again. So it seems. As friendly as ever, I see. It's strange. This castle's different than I remember it. This castle is a creature of chaos. With each rebirth, it takes a new form. And here I thought my mind was playing tricks. Well, there's nothing for it. Till we meet again. Yep. Magic of Dracula's castle is pretty crazy. Alright. Cool, we'll save here first. I feel like I remember one of these having a breakable wall, but I think I'm confusing it with Metroid, so... Also starts blurring together sometimes. <laughs> I feel like we're coming up on the double jump pretty soon now at least, so. Another ring for money. Oop. I failed that jump. Ow. 
And I feel like I'm like way over level. I'm not trying to be either. Then again, I did get spend money on that the weapon, so. Sword guy. Yep. Ow. I have a weakness for you. Ha! Ah, take that. Uh, I think he drops a pretty good sword too. Which kind of, you know, pretty makes sense. I'm failing at the platform and we're now. Wait, did I? Special sword. Hold on a second. What? Where did I get this? Uh, it's not better in any way. Huh. Also, yeah, let me make sure I got. Something I saw at some point. Okay, Onyx. I remember we're getting Onyx, but. There we go. That's what I meant to do. What does Goggles do? Right, there we go. <laughs> Literally just did it and I already forgot. Well, intelligence goes up, but defense goes down. That's okay. We don't need intelligence right now, so. But. So I'll knock, get the last square unlocked here. Let's see. Rest your weary soul here. May the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be with you. Amen. Nice. It's not guaranteed every time. That's a shortcut. Oh, crows. Yeah, I love them. No! Asshole crows. Oh my god, stop it. I don't know 
plane dropped there, but I should probably make sure. Ooh, I think, yeah, I think that was a drop from somebody, so. Seriously, getting it up there. Alright. Oh! Yep, I can't do that part yet. Oh, here we go. Drop something. I don't know which ones do though. There's another bell tower or something out of that one. Just gotta make sure I'm being thorough and make sure they are dropping the stuff. Alright, ice mail or silver plate? Let's see. Ice mail it is. Alright. drop something. I do not want salt. <laughs> Cutscene? Oh, boss, forgot about the griffin. Like you're doing well for yourself. It's the holy and water. You didn't come here to flatter me. True. Do you know the name Richter <gasps> Belmont? He's the boy. Belmont. Of course. Why? <laughs> he disappeared about a year ago. I'm sure he's here now. If you see him, please let me know. As you wish, my lady. Hmm. A gentleman after all. Thank you. As you wish, my lady. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I don't know if anybody watching that knows a lot of Castlevania stuff, but they kind of showed it there. Um, Alucard, as I said in the very beginning of the game, uh, he, he worked with Trevor and Sypha, and so 
he went to sleep, and he's a dampier, so I mean, he's immortal, he can live for forever, or at least seemingly so. And, um, anyway, so, she's looking for Richter, who was in the castle, like, four years ago, with her. But <laughs> he's thinking he just heard Belmont. I was like, yeah, I know Belmont. I know Trevor Belmont. It's like, no, 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 not the same Belmont. That's like his great, 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 great grandfather. <laughs> kind of cool. Nerdy little fact, I guess. It's funny though. I like how they did they did that scene though. It's funny. Yeah, they're seriously. I'm doing nothing. Callus, I can be a pirate. Going for this. There we go. Alright, I'm assuming Callus is still worse than my saber. Yeah, but it's catching up. It's not too far worse, so. So, I could use, I guess, a better shield, but I rarely use shield, so. so here, I think this is either a teleport or a save room. Okay. Check out the, uh, I think this is the actual clock tower area. Oh, that's something. Oh, I swear to God, is that double jump? That'd be amazing if that's double jump. I think that is. No, I do not want to. Oh, who are you? This is a teleport. Okay, cool. So let's see. Now we should actually be able to teleport, which means I think I can get on the inside of the other one now. Is this that? Yes, it is. Cool. Now we unlock this. Yay, Wienerman. Got love the Wienerman. Yeah, so now we can fast travel all around the castle pretty much. I don't have there's a lot of them I still haven't unlocked yet. Wait, what's Why have I not gone in that door? Yeah, that's a little side track, but I'm gonna check I there's in the main area where I it's not even the main area where I fall down forever. Okay, yeah, there's definitely something I haven't explored over here I want to check out, but I totally should have. And it's down area. I just want to make sure it's not a fast travel step. That makes everything a lot easier later on. I just do a lot of backtracking, so. We'll go back to the castle keep after this. That's, that's what we gotta do, but. Yeah, very curious. I think that is the double jump I'm about to get. In hindsight, I probably should have prioritized that over getting this one area unlocked. Yo, 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 stop.
very least I'll be next to the library, which means I can fast travel either uh, to back to the keep, which will save me a little bit of time. Look at that, I got through it this time without falling. <laughs> I feel like I get his shield. That's what I get from the, the slinger. Double, double jump that would have been helpful right then. To explore that area before it closes off. That's rude. Wow. Alright, yeah, so it's down in here. There's something on the left of the door I haven't gone through. Fast travel, so that's kind of unfortunate. So I got a little bit of a hike. I can climb back up though, and then I'll probably just um, um, the fastest way back is probably going to the right up there to the library. That yellow area on the right. So that's that's where I'm gonna head. We really didn't go in there though. There we go. It's one of the drops right now. Guess I'm pretty sure I get a spear from that too. They usually get spears in, in these Egovania style Castlevania games. Metroidvania, Egovania. Whatever! Egovania is more specific, I guess, so. So yeah, we're gonna 
climb back up out of this area. Head right, head up the tower there. I actually could probably go into the room with the uh, the knight I couldn't really before. I also can do two um, soul steals on him. He still hits very hard. It's the reason why I skipped him earlier, but... Um... Oh, I didn't realize I go down here now, too. Cool, okay, so at least it's not all for nothing. I'm getting some areas I didn't explore before. Could've sworn one of these had a secret thing, but I guess not. Oh, hey! This, this game is a goodie. What's up? <laughs> Hi, doing, Eddie. Yeah, no, I mean... I was saying earlier, I, this game is fantastic, of course. I'm never gonna shit on this. But I really do think that... Uh, out of the whole series, this game is a bit overrated. So, Alucard's fucking awesome, but... There's so many good Castlevania games, <laughs> and they improve upon this formula, so... But... It is good. I think for especially because of the time where it came out, like, this was like... This was just very good timing on everything, so... The fact that they used it on, uh... PlayStation. Doing alright, still dealing with the VA stuff. Nice, nice. Yeah, no, it was. It was P PS1, which that that in itself, I think, was like the thing that made this so crazy. Because, I mean, they didn't do a whole lot of 2D stuff, um, 2D like platforming stuff on the PS1. At least not in comparison to, to like everything else that came before it. So, but yeah, I think the fact that this came on the PS PS1 definitely deserves praise for that. Oh my god, please. There we go. A little bit more magic. I did not! Um, I, that, but that's that's like uh, RPG style. I've never really cared about those that genre really as a whole, unfortunately. For better or for worse. It's just not been the thing that clicks with me. So... It's a series that, like, like story-wise, I've always been interested in, but I, I just haven't, um... I haven't sunk any time into, because it just doesn't look like it's the right genre for me. I try to be open with, with that stuff. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, um, like, I, I've i played, like, first couple of Final Fantasies, and they're alright. I mean, it just, I they really have to click with me for me to love them, so... Um, and like meanwhile, the later Final Fantasies, like, but like, I, I'm saying not not the newest ones, but the, uh, the like, I don't know, the like five through ten. I played a little bit of those, but they didn't, they don't click with me. So, yeah, no, no, that's true. Legend of Man, I know isn't, but that still didn't really. Um, I don't know. I never really got into that, but the rest, I will say the um, because the series. There's like I think there's one game in the Mana series that is turn-based. So, and uh, yeah, because of that, I've never really touched it. But I should play that. But I haven't. The same thing with Chrono Trigger and like uh, Chrono Cross, and you know, there's there's a lot of these ones that I feel like I could probably push myself through. But what am I thinking? I'm thinking of Secret of Mana. Legend of Mana, yeah, okay, Legend of Mana, I know you're talking about. That, I definitely, no, there's not a turn-based one. Um, and that is something that has appealed to me, but I think I confused it with Secret of Mana every time I think of it, so. Maybe I'm confusing myself still. <laughs> I also, yeah, because that reminds me, I just learned uh, recently about Alundra, which I always thought that was a turn-based RPG, but it is not, so I gotta play that at some point. 
Ich will the legend of my mom. Oh. <laughs> uh, holy shit. But, no, there's a lot of turn-based games I just haven't got given an actual try, which I do kind of regret that, because, um, you know, when I was over there hanging out with Kyle, and, uh, we, we were, I mean, that was, we first started hanging out because we started talking about the, the Mother Trilogy, and I love that, that's turn-based, so, I should be more open, but the thing is, I see gameplay on half of these, and they're just, like, they're so generic, and there's something about Earthbound that, and the Mother series that did it different. So, I'm real picky when it comes to turn-based RPG. <laughs> I should be more open, though. One of the uh, turn-based games I've wanted to play, um, or give a shot, at least, is... Um, oh, what was it called? It's the... Uh, Nino Kuni, yeah, I wanted to give those a try just because I love I love Ghibli, so. Um, double jump. Double jump. Oh yeah, double jump. Oh, now we talking. Wow, that's a clean man taking my ass. Every RPG has to be in a medieval fantasy. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I love, I love high fantasy, medieval fantasies, etc. Like, just, but I don't know. I think that that might be part of it. I think er the Earthbound's like system of like the counter to for HP like made things a little interesting because it, it there was like a timing element to like your attacking. So maybe that's kind of why I like it too. But then again, like games like Paper Mario, where it's it's not in that medieval formula. Um, I know Paper Mario changes its formula quite a bit, but I didn't like those a lot. I did burn that Joe Chris. Is that a Masa? Tiffing? It's Tiffing. What? There's definitely got a secret beak. Oh my god, there's gotta be a secret with this thing. What the hell? There's no damage. Well, alright. I think of that. <laughs> feel like a funny Pokemon. Yeah. I love that series. That's another one I gotta do on these. Uh, I still, Nick still hasn't done Mother 1, but I've had him do Earthbound and Mother 3, so... At some point I'm gonna have to... Uh, I forget, I'm forgetting I have a double jump now. Um, yeah, so I'll have, to, I'll have to have him do that, and then I'll end up doing Earthbound and Mother 3. For the stream, but there's 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 gotta be something that like really makes or breaks it for me with with RPGs, cause uh, it's it's definitely weird where I draw the line. But like Final Fantasies and um, uh, I'm trying to think of other big ones, these modern ones. Um, and of course the Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross, like. There's all these. Well, actually, no, because I I still think I would be able to push through those games. Um, but like all the uh, the tales of games and the uh, Atelier games. Is that Atelier? I think it is. Um, like those ones just they seem so generic, and even if the story is good, I just would not be able to do that. <laughs> You're right. That's what that's what made Earthbound great. It was it was all the cleavage in Earthbound. <laughs> Yeah, that's a sad thing. Is I can't even the the boobs aren't even enough to keep me into the to those. I don't know. I would definitely like to figure out like why I like Earthbound and Pokemon over like you know. Although I'm not really as crazy about Pokemon, I've uh, really had a love hate thing with that series for a long time. But. But yeah, I'm holding myself by there. I mean, there's there's plenty of really good ones that I'd love to try, you know? I feel like I'm definitely wasting time here. Because that's not going to lead me anywhere. I'll just go this way still. Ow! Stop, Stop it! 
But yeah, I grew up with these Castlevania, these Castlevania games, so these ones I know I love at least. Metroidvanias are definitely my type of game, so. What are you excited for? What, what you got coming out that you're looking forward to, Eddie? So I'm not sure. Speaking of turn based, I'm not sure if you'd be will if you're going to go for um, Monster Hunter Stories too. But and I know rides obviously keep me busy, and it will for probably a while. But I'm curious. Monster Hunter stories again in you know, RPG turn based stuff of Mario Party and Metroid. Yeah. Mario Party, I'm not really crazy for. I'm not a multiplayer person though, but uh, I'm really excited for what they're doing. I would say that's probably the one that I'm most intrigued in that they've done in a while. So, um, I used to play them, but I don't. My sister doesn't live with me anymore, so, you know, it's. Just don't really play with, with people and. Online gaming is not the same for me, so. <laughs> but I did love Mario Party growing up, so. Oh shoot! I gotta break this up for YouTube. All right, hang tight. I gotta gotta break this up real quick. I'll give it like a five-minute break here. Keep it simple. All right, I will be right back. 